Hi, my name is Matea Jones. Welcome to the You Are Home Life tour of Walton Hall. So today we're going to tour all of Walton Hall. We're going to start outside today uh, with all the things that are surrounding it. Um, again, I'm Matea Jones. I'm a senior here at the University of Arkansas. So I'm going to my last and final year. So excited to get this fall started and for you all to be here with me. So across the street from Walton Hall, we're going to have Barnhill Arena and then the also important Razorback Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be super close when games start. Football season is right around the corner. You'll have a prime spot to get there early on Saturday morning. <laughs> and then when volleyball starts up, you'll be right here. You can run on down and go join the fun. They have lots of gifts, like prizes there. So it's always really fun to go to volleyball, gymnastics, all the things that are held there. Stadium Drive is really such a great street to like be on. You're convenient, you're close to campus, you got the fraternity houses on mm -hmm. this street too, so you can always pop over, say hi to friends. It's a really great place to be. And also we have the Hyper, which is our gymnasium like performance center. So if you want to go work out, you're two minutes two five minutes away depending on where you live in Walton. And then yeah, it's just really athletics road. Um, and now I'm going to introduce the person behind the camera. It's going to be Courtney. Yeah. Hello. Hey guys, my name is Courtney. Um, I'm also a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to begin my sophomore year um, as a nursing major. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You're good. Um, so yeah, I'm from Fayetteville. If you guys have any questions, I'll be behind the camera today. Um, I'll be reading your comments and we will be sure to answer all of those for you guys. She's from Fayetteville and then I'm from the great state of Texas. <laughs> so Frisco, Texas. So if you guys will let us know where you guys are from and if it's Texas, hey. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll go inside now and we'll get started on my tour. We're gonna start here in the great room. It's really a great space to hang out with friends, lots of common spaces. You can, there's gonna be a TV put up there in the process. Um, but it's a great lounge space to hang out in. You can probably watch games in here, movie nights, game nights. I know lots of programming is gonna happen in this room because it's a great space to accommodate large groups. So housing, Greek life, because this is a Greek oriented building. Um, a lot of our Greek life fraternities and sororities who don't have houses are housed here in Walton Hall. So you'll be close to each other, you have a great space to meet and hang out together. Um, yeah, so you got a ping pong table. My arch nemesis, I cannot play ping pong to save my <laughs> life. Um, couches, tables, lots of plugs so you can plug in your computers if you're working down here. Um, I could not figure out the name of this game to save my life. Um, so if you're watching and you know what this game is, please let, let us know because yes. we were trying to remember what it's called. We're really curious. <laughs> I know it has the little pucks in the sand. I just don't know what it's called. But yeah. So if you have any questions again, let us know and we'll be try to answer those for you. We're going to be looking at what's called North Walton Hall and South Walton Hall today. So we're and currently in the south side of the building. Um, so these are going to have the big great room, different laundry rooms, so yeah, and it's all connected so you can get to the other side. Though admittedly the layout of Walton takes a little bit of getting used to. Yes, it does. But yeah, some common bathrooms, so if you're down here in the great hall, you don't have to run all the way back to your room. It's right here. Convenient. And you and Courtney both did um, Rush, is that right? Or did I Greek did, Life? I'm, yes, we're both so, part of Greek Life. Um, I did a different process, but... So I know this space is used a lot for that kind of thing. Yes, if you're part of the panel and the council, I, they spend a lot of time here at the beginning when you guys first get here. And so you'll be familiar with this hall by the end. So this is an exit, so if you're trying to get to class, you can pop right out. You have the stairs. It's a great trail if you like running um, or just like walking. It's a great place to go for a little walk by yourself or with your friends. And that reminds me, we do have the Fayetteville or the Northwest Arkansas Greenway yes. here. If you're from another state, you may not know that we have a, a trail, a multi-use trail that goes about 50 plus miles 
from Fayetteville all the way up to Benton County, uh, Benton, Bentonville. So bring your bike, walk it, do whatever. Okay, so this is going to be a laundry room that's here in Waltham Hall. Um, you're going to have four dryers and three washers. And then there's going to be like a folding area, some tables if you're trying to sit down here and do homework. But that's not necessary because there's an app that you can download that's going to let you know when your laundry's done, when the machine is free, so you don't have to set up shop down here. You can come down here, put your laundry in, and then go back up to your room. And so the app is called um, Laundry Alert. It's right here on the wall. It'll tell you how to do it, how to download it, how to use it. You can also find more information at movein.uark.edu. Housing.uark.edu. Housing. Forward slash laundry. Yes, housing.uark.edu forward slash laundry to find more information about it. But yeah, so you've already paid for these laundry machines and your student fees when you apply for housing. So you don't have to bring like quarters to use it. You just bring your laundry detergent, put your laundry in, use it, go back up to your room, come back down. Yeah. Tide, bounce, whatever you do. Um, we, I think they recommend that you use the Tide Pods, those kind of things. They're just easier to use and leaves less of a mess because this is a common space, so everyone has to use it. So you dirty it, you clean it. Okay. Yeah. You were an RA, weren't you? I was. I was an RA for the past <laughs> two years. I was in Maple Hill South, which we'll get to later on for another UR Home Life tour. I think we'll actually tour east instead of south because of the three buildings over there. Um, and there are multiple um, laundry rooms throughout Walton. Yeah. I think there should be at least a couple on each floor or throughout the building so that you don't have to, if this one's full, there's another one that you can go to to find a space to use. So we can use the rooms. We'll come down here. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, feel free to ask anything and you can ask us to take measurements while we're in the room. Yeah. So. And here on Walton South, um, the configuration is more of like a traditional where you have bathrooms that are community and then you have a room, but they're all singles in here. So they're all single rooms. So we'll take a look at the community bathroom for the south side of the, camp, uh, the hall. So when you come in, there's going to be two sinks, two toilet areas, and then two shower areas. Now these are really nice shower areas because you have a door. You can walk in. You can put your steps down, hang up your rack or your um, shower caddy. Highly recommend get a shower caddy. Shower shoes are mm -hmm. important if you're in a common bathroom. And then shower is a really nice size. You can stretch out, I promise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and so you have a whole little area to get dressed, um, get everything figured out, and then hop right out into your room. Awesome. But yeah. They're clean for you, so you don't have to clean these bathrooms, which for people like me, that's the best thing. So, yeah. yeah. Our bathrooms are cleaned twice a day by professional staff, so if you do have a community bathroom, it's got to be clean. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to bring toilet paper unless you just like to bring that yourself. Yeah, but you don't have to. People have special toilet paper they want to use. Get that. <laughs> so we'll go into a south side room. Right over here. So if you're in Walton Hill South Side 133, this is your room. Light. So this is the South Side room. You're gonna get carpet, which is really nice because not all these real buildings have carpet. Uh, so you won't have to have cold feet when you step out your bed in the morning. So true. Yeah. So a bed. So have a little stool, uh, night table. The closet. And then a set of drawers, a desk, and then another set of drawers and a little holding area. But yeah, so you have a window, the air conditioning. Looks like there's a rack to your yes. You have a rack to hang your towel on so they can dry properly so you don't have all the wet towel mats. And all these rooms do have cable in them. They got a cable system a couple of years back. It's really nice. You get HBO, all the HBOs, which is really nice if you're like me. I love Game of Thrones, so that was really nice to be able to watch when you were <laughs> on. But yeah, so you'll have all the cords and connected cables for it. I 
think it's, it's behind something in here. But it's here. Yeah. Um, yes, and I think you'll have the remote, the cable to connect, and then you just plug in your TV. If you bring one, then it's the cable. And all the halls have Wi-Fi, so you'll have plenty of Wi-Fi on tap, and that's within your fees, so it's all fine. Wi-Fi, and I think there's Ethernet cables if you need to connect. Mm -hmm. Some rooms have them, some do not. Yeah. This one over there in the corner for your computer. Yeah. We could go ahead and measure the mattress. Yes, I will. So I can hold this in. It's going to be about 80 inches long. Okay. And then 36 inches wide. You have about, that? 36 inches wide? Yes. Okay. And about 6 inches tall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, great, great. Thing. But yeah. There's also a firm and a soft side to these mattresses. So if you like a firmer mattress, you can flip it over and you can get the mattress that you want. But yeah. That's a pro tip. I've never pro heard tip. that before. Yes. It took me a long time to figure that out. I've been on campus for three years, and it took me about a year and a half to figure that out. So, yeah. Nice window. Um, the higher up you go, of course, they'll have a better view, but so close to campus. This is actually, I think, the union behind us, and then further up the campus, so you're right there. You can jet up to class. It doesn't take mm -hmm. too long. And then you're close to all the activities, like we said, at the stadium, at the union, Greek theater, right there on campus. Great big wall right here that you can decorate however you like. Room for couches if you want, uh, microwaves and fridges, although you don't have to bring them. Um, they, You can bring them if you want. We also have a kitchen in this building that we'll show later on, so you don't have to bring those with you. But if you do, there are guidelines on housing.uark.edu or movein.uark.edu that will tell you what to do with that. Um, what you can and cannot bring. Yes. But yeah. And then I think we'll go ahead and move on into the lobby area unless anyone has any questions about this room. So far, so good. Cool. But yeah. The layout for this building, they're different buildings, so they're connected kind of strangely, but it's possible to get through. <laughs> it might take you a little bit, but you'll figure out how to best move about the building. Now we're crossing the boundary from South Walton into to North Walton. To North Walton. So this is where they both connect. You're going to come up these stairs, and then you'll have the front desk area. So this is where there will be a professional, um, a hall secretary that can help you with questions during the day. This is also where RAs will be at evenings to answer your questions. Um, so bathroom area. Water bottle filter station. We're really big about recycling and being green on this campus. Mm -hmm. So those are really big things. You don't have to have plastic water bottles. You can just fill her up. Um, and Walton actually has a special thing with recycling. We do a recycle mania every year between the buildings to see <laughs> who recycles the most. I think Walton has won for the past three years. So I think they're doing pretty good. This is actually their trophy. There's your recycling stations. And there's the Recycle Mania trophy. I think they're missing just one more plaque for this right, year. It needs to be added on there. But yeah, they, they really uh, unite around that principle. But yeah, so we do a big thing during the spring. All the buildings get together and try to recycle as much as possible. So all about being green now. Mm -hmm. And so also you'll have your mailboxes here. Um, so your small like letters and stuff will come here. But if you're looking for packages, you're going to get that at Buchanan Droke Hall, which is real close by it's not too far not too hard to get to but that's where you'll get your packages and they will the email you and let you know yes. when they have a package for you to come pick up so but yeah and then if we come further in you're going to get to the kitchen so this is a really nice kitchen i think it was updated a couple years ago mm -hmm. they have a full sink oven stove top microwave and then the full fridge and freezer so like you said you don't have to bring a microwave or a mini fridge with you because that's all here for you. Uh, but yeah, a charging station, um, some places to hang up, some pots and pans, nice little eating area. 
really great use of space. So if you're trying to study or having a taco night like me and my friends want to do, you can come in here, cook, and eat, and be together, and just have a great night. Because sometimes dining hall food can get a little tiring, so you can always, you know, pop a pizza in the oven, bake some cookies at night, um, or have a full-on feast with your friends. <laughs> yeah. Variety is the way to go. Yes, definitely. You gotta break out of that routine every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Did we, uh, did we look at this room in here? No, not yet. Okay, so let's... And so we'll go up in here. And we'll enter in like another common space to hang out at. So off of the front lobby, you're gonna have another great room type of situation. So you'll have your vending machines that use card, cash, Apple, Android Pay. And so it's really convenient, late night snacks. You got a hand drink with some chips. You can come on down here and get some chips. There's a piano. Do you like Takis? I don't, I know I've tried them. <laughs> I know that's a bad thing, but uh -huh. everyone loves them. I just can't get into them. Takis are kind of hot right now. I was just I know. Out. All my friends love them. They're, I just don't eat them. So we have a big bag at the house, and I just, <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> but yeah. So another TV lounge area, big dining table. If you're trying to do a group project, this would be a great place to be. You can all spread out and work together. There's some individual classrooms over here. If you need a little space to get away, uh, you can always come in here, close the door, and get the work done. I think there's, oh yeah, there's even a whiteboard in here. If you're having to write out equations or, you know, design something or figure out who's going to do what on your group project, sit in here and get your work done. I like that front facing hog. Mm -hmm. sure. yes. Is there an artist's name on there? I don't think so. Okay. Probably a past student here, you know, welcome to like improve to the hall. So if you have a great picture, maybe see if your artist will put it up for you. Don't put things up yourself, let your artist do it. <laughs> but yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Not yet. Okay. Um, there's another laundry room on this floor. So if the one on the other side of the building is full, you can always let your laundry up here. Yeah. Put it over here and get your laundry done while you watch the game or study with your friends. There is someone named Krista watching. So Hi, Krista. Thanks for watching. Welcome to your Home Life Tour of Walton Hall. Yeah, feel free to ask us anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go outside now and head over to the north side building. This is a great little meeting spot. Maybe you like to have tea in the morning, come out mm -hmm. here on the balcony, have some tea, do some yoga. If that's your thing, it's not my thing, but <laughs> my roommate is really into that, so oh, yeah? she would love it. Sunrise type yoga? Yeah, she's a sunrise, have yoga and tea in the morning, meditate. Gotta get you straight for the day. Yeah, I guess it will. <laughs> so you come in here, some more meeting spaces, Cycling. Um, yeah. More recycling. Yes, recycling is big in this building. It's their thing. They're real proud of it. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you can go outside. So on the north side of the building, you have the outdoor, outdoors entrances to the rooms. You can just go in this first room right here to show the north, the north side. If it's unlocked, yeah. So they're doing construction in here, so... Let's go around to the other one, over on that side. Okay. Right? Which is right back here. Oh. Because they're still doing some construction there. Yeah, we're doing some renovations for you guys. Which will all be done... Before you get here. Okay. Okay, thank you. So here's the elevator for this side of the building. So don't want to take all the stairs. There's the elevator. Thank you. So to the right, you're going to have the Union Park Garage, um, and then behind it, the Union and the Harley Campus. So it's real convenient and nice to be at. You come in here. This is a north side room. So on the north side, the bathrooms are connected Jack and Jill style to another room. So you'll share one bathroom with one other person, which is really nice if you didn't like the whole sharing with the whole floor. At least now it's just one person you can talk. You can talk to them one-on-one -on -one about how you want to share this bathroom. Right. 
but you'll have a desk area and then some built-in showing. Great place to get some work done, hang things, stack things, your books. It's a good storage um, place. Yeah, good storage place. The beds are coming in here. What the renovation that was done here was the floors were redone and then beds were taken out and new beds are coming in. So so this is what the cable box looks like that we didn't get to show you guys in the other room. Um, it's really nice. Again, cables included. You can move the furniture around except for the desk. That's stuck there, but everything else can be moved around when it's brought in. Uh, so this is going to be your bathroom area. This is a nice drawers space. Cabinets, you know, sink, a nice towel rack. Great mirrors for someone mm -hmm. like me. I like a lot of mirrors in my room, so this will give you space. Also, hello. Um, and this closet. You're gonna have your closet here. It's a nice size closet. You got some shelving up top, mm -hmm. some rack space, stuff on the bottom. Um, we had a question. Yes. Are Jack and Jill bathrooms clean the same as the south side? No, they're not. So these Jack and Jill bathrooms, because they're inside your rooms, so you'll have to clean them yourself. But at least it's just you and one other person. Yeah. Oftentimes we clean them over Christmas break. Yes. I can't remember if we clean them here over Christmas break, but we do clean them yes, during they're breaks over Christmas and summer break. Yeah. yeah. And so there'll be the toilet here. And then behind the door, there's some shelving space uh, to put things, put your stuff down. And then you have the shower area. So again, a nice size shower all the space that you need. Uh, but yes, you will have to clean these bathrooms yourself and also provide like the toilet paper and tissue situation. Right. I've had my own bathroom for the past two years and I lived in Maple and it really wasn't that bad because it's really limited the amount of people that are using it so as you can control how dirty it is. So this is the other side for the second roommate. Again, the sink area is the same. The area over here, the floors, the paint job, and then you have the desk area, the door, and all that stuff. So these walls are kind of cinder blocks, so you'll have to use, if you want to hang things up, you'll have to use plastic they go a little more sturdy. I bet command hooks would be good in here. You always have to be careful with the command hooks that you use because if you chip paint, it's your fault. Right. We're not responsible for that. So always be careful and try to limit the number that you are using. Yeah. Do you know if this all has to be a change? I'm not sure. I know this is an academic year of fall. Yes. So this year it's now academic year. Okay. So it doesn't close during break. So yeah, so we have open. a couple of academic year halls, which means that they do not close during Thanksgiving, Christmas, spring. All those kind of different breaks where the university usually shuts down from campus, this one will stay open so you don't have to leave. If you live far away or you just didn't want to go home or had things to do around your Fayetteville, you can stay here. Um, but yeah, if you have your window, your door that leads outside. So now is the perfect time to ask if you'd like us to do any measurements at all. Yes. And we'll hang out for a minute to see if any of those requests come in. If not, then we'll probably have. Oh, another cool thing about this building is that the full circle Fulbright, no, the Jane B. Fulbrights, uh, ooh, that name, it's the full circle food pantry. And so you, if you have a university ID card, you can go there and get free food. It's open to everyone who has a university ID. It's right next door to this building. It's actually connected. So all you have to do is go outside, go around, go in, give them your ID, and get some food. So, because we're trying to really eliminate food and security on this campus, it's a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. So we had a question about whether or not there's a desk chair, and there will be. Um, like we said, they were just renovating in here, so um, the movable furniture just isn't in the room yet, but they will be putting a chair in, in a bed. So. Probably uh, a drawer here. Yeah, I'm sure some drawers. And then you'll have some space to bring in any furniture you would like. Always try to, try to limit that when you first get here to see how much space you really have right. with all the stuff in here. Uh, pro tip, don't bring all your clothes at once. Try to space them out. So bring a season at a time. So it'll come in the fall. So bring your summer stuff, your hot weather stuff, 
and maybe a little bit of your fall winter clothing. And then when you go home for fall break or Thanksgiving, you can take the warm clothes home and bring back all the rest of your um, winter time clothes. So that way you don't waste room. So we can't hear in the Ozarks probably looking at windbreaker weather until October, really. Yeah, yeah. Towards, me, towards like fall break. Fall break is really when I switch over my clothing. Yeah. Because after that, you'll have to wait a little bit of time before Thanksgiving rolls around. You can kind of get cold between fall break and Thanksgiving. Right. So go home and get your stuff, bring it back, change out your flip flops for, you know, like your tennis shoes, things like that. So we don't have any more questions right now, but remember that you guys can always comment after we post the video and we will still go back and answer those for you guys. I'm going to say we, it's actually you. It's me. It's yeah. Courtney, she's the one answering It's me. So I, will be, yeah. I will be going through and answering those. So yeah. Feel free. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Vlog Hall. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. Can't wait to see you guys in the ball.